Hello, welcome to Randall and Associates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? That's good, but I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes comes increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty and increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? Your first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR Ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with a rifle, he was drummed out of the Rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? I'm a relative newcomer to Vegas. I grew up far, far to the east. My parents were Brahmin herders somewhere near the Mississippi. I never figured to be a violent man. I hardly shot a gun till I was in my 20s. I just wanted to raise my own family in peace. One day, a man came calling. He offered to help with chores, and he seemed sincere. He was a big help for several days, so I let my guard down. He clubbed me in my sleep, tied and gagged me. Then, he made me watch. He raped my wife right in front of me. Then he cut her open, pulled the baby right out of her belly, butchered it right there. He carved off most of my face, and then he left me for dead. That was 15 years ago. I've been searching for him ever since. For years, he was always two steps ahead, preying on families in isolated areas and repeating his crimes. A few years ago, I heard he had a run-in with the regulators at the D.C. wasteland, but it's just a rumor. He's probably dead by now. I resigned myself to this profession, and over time I've come to grips with the fact that chasing that man is a dead end. You got quite a story out of me, didn't you? I haven't talked about that in years. Any other questions? His name was Marco. He's almost certainly dead by now, but if you ever come across him, shoot him for me. Any more questions? That's for me to know and you to find out. Any other questions? Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. That's not offensive. Someone putting a 12 gauge up your ass and pulling the trigger, now that's offensive. I once saw a zombie do that to one of my friends, so it left a strong impression. Don't get me wrong. I've met some square ghouls like Doc Friday and, well, let, let me think. I, I'm sure there are others. I'll get back to that. Anyway, the incident I'm referencing happened over 10 years ago. Me and my partner James were tracking a bounty in New Mexico. We were unfamiliar with the territory and eventually some ghouls got the jump on us. I was wounded and James was green, so it went bad. They were a collection of ghoul fanatics from some reservation and they took us captive after the firefight. Their leader was a ghoul named Phillips. Ray Phillips, that's it. I think he had relatives back east. Anyway, old Ray took special pride in making us smooth skinned suffer. He said he would use the five pains method on us. He started with James, cutting off his nose, his hand, and then a foot. Ray was going to cut him in half, but James called him a zombie cunt. Ray didn't appreciate the label, so he responded by shoving his shotgun into James and pulling the trigger. Now, how I got away is an interesting story since, god 
damn it, look at the time. I've got to finish this typing, and you've got me distracted. Are you ready to work or not? 